Hey guys, Chris from Chris's Tre Treasure Chest. Welcome to my channel. Name of this video, Do Used Satellite Boxes Sell? And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, it's a little project I'm doing. I wanna, I wanna see if it works out and I'll tell you how I got there. But first off, I wanted to talk to you about, I got a, a couple of messages from new subscribers, um, new eBay um, uh, sellers. Thanks for the messages, guys, and congratulations on selling on eBay, and I hope I can help you out. It was from JLKW, and um, he was in a bit of a panic because he printed a expedited label to the U.S., and on the label part, it has his Canada Post number and the shipping costs. Uh, he sent me a bunch of messages, and we kind of were back and forth, and I finally realized what he was talking about. When you do your label, say this is the full page. Well, here's an example. Here's one side of it. So the other side would have your shipping label. I call this the receipt side and it lists your costs on this side. Uh, when you do Canadian shipping, it doesn't show what you paid, but on the US it does for some reason. And I asked Canada Post when I dropped off some packages and they need it for um, customs. So in, on that, it shows you your Canada Post account number, which doesn't mean anything because they can't use it. And then if you charge them $9 for shipping or $13 for shipping and you only paid nine. Don't worry about it, guys. I've never had an issue. You gotta remember, and I told JLKW, your time is worth money too. The box that you ship the item in costs money. The packaging, the wrapping, the, your labels, your paper, your tape, your, that all costs money. And I'll tell you, nobody will ever look at that and question you. If the buyer is paying for shipping, he's not going to care. He's going to get his item. He won't even look at the label, open it up, and he wants to see what he got. So, guys, don't str stress about it and don't worry about that part. Just do your labels. Remember, the bigger your discount the more money you make on shipping and if you're you can figure it out when I list something and I know I'm making four or five bucks on shipping I'll lower the price below everybody else and I'll make that difference up um, on the item via the shipping if that makes sense anyways guys I wanted to touch base on that uh, and uh, yeah so what I did let's talk about satellite boxes I don't have cable I have satellite at home um, I cut the cord finally I got rid of it so uh, what I did, I was on Bell Satellite for you guys that are in Canada. Um, I had three, I had a PVR and two other receivers on TVs and I canceled my subscription and I know, and I'm gonna answer it right now, They're gonna, you're, you're gonna ask me down below, what, did, what are you doing for TV? So what I did, um, I've had one of these for a while. Highly recommended, they're not cheap guys, Nvidia Shield. Uh, in one room. So what I've done, um, I'm gonna go to Netflix. Now, I got a 4K TV. This is 4K, picture's amazing. Um, so I've got Netflix now, um, and then what I've done, Bell has a, I don't know if it's an internet TV, whatever you wanna call it, um, where you need to have a box, an Android box like this to download their uh, Alt TV. It's called it Five Alt TV. So for 20 bucks a month, they gave me a discount. I get 50 channels and uh, all amazing, amazing speed and and, uh, and uh, picture. Um, and I get all the TSN and Sportsnet channels. So that's what I've gone with and I've been doing it now for over a week and it's fantastic. So I've lowered my bill for like a hundred bucks. So that's what I've done with that and that's where I've gone. Um, and including in that Bell package, you get Crave TV for free, which is kind of nice. So then I had to go and disconnect all my cable boxes or my satellite boxes. And I start to go, what am I going to do with these? And naturally, me as a reseller, I'm going to resell it. So I'm surprised to find, because I own my boxes, they're paid outright, okay? There's one here. This is a Bell 6131, okay? This was the one I had in my bedroom. The remote's kind of, it's worn, but the buttons all work. This sells up to $80 on eBay. Sold on eBay. I couldn't believe it. Um, 
I don't think the cable boxes get as much. I think the satellite boxes do because people in rural areas that do not have cable, um, especially like cottage country uh, up north where they want to have an extra receiver uh, for a bedroom or whatever because they have satellite up there, they buy them. Um, so I'm going to sell mine. I have two like this and I have a PVR that I'm not going to sell yet because I've got a bunch of stuff on there I want to transfer out on a hard drive because I want to keep it. Um, so, but I'm going to let you know what I get for them guys. So I've got two of these. They're paid outright. I don't owe a penny. So I got to thinking, if I go to a thrift store and I find a satellite box, how do I know that it's been paid for, that there's no money owing? So I called Bell up and I asked them that question. I said, look, if I find a box, how do I know? They said nine times out of 10, they will be paid and the people own them because what they do is they request them back if they cancel the service, if they move. If they don't, right, they'll put them in collections and eventually somebody will chase them down to pay for it. But they said on the, on the slim chance of if not, you just give them a call, you give them the serial number um, of the unit, I guess you plug it in, turn it on, and you can see the serial number of the unit, and they'll tell you if it's good or not. So um, they don't even be transferred or anything. They just you just pick them up and hook them up, and if there's no money owed on them, it's fine, as far as I know. So I'm going to sell these, and I will let you know what I get. It's very interesting, um, and you know, I, don't know, I might be on the lookout for these boxes moving forward because I've seen them in thrift stores for nothing, six bucks, seven bucks, and I find these remotes everywhere for a dollar. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, I'll let you know how that experiment works. Uh, Today's Saturday. I might go picking later today or tomorrow, and if I do, for sure, I will film the whole thing, and I will take you through on what I get. Um, Got to do a summary video for March. I will try to do that tomorrow. Uh, show you a few things that sold. It was a good month. Uh, we were up about 20% over prior year in sales, and uh, we're just really happy with the return. Um, April's turned out to be, mm, you know, it's only six days in, so. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, this weekend is a pay period for some people, so I hope tonight and tomorrow we'll get some sales, um, and I'll uh, let you guys know then. Anyways, guys, you know the routine. I will talk to you later. Uh, hope to do another video for you. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Share with your friends like always, and until next time, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest.